Okay, so we're going to be talking about prime factors in this video. Now, a prime factor is just a factor which also happens to be a prime number, and that's all there is to it. So, for part A of this question, to find all of the prime factors, what we can do is we can begin by thinking about the factors of 24. Now, to find those, if you remember, all we need to do is we need to think about how to multiply to make 24, and all the different ways of doing that. So, we have 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. And then 5 um, isn't going to work because 24 isn't in the 5 times table. And then we hit upon 6, but we've already got that on the right-hand side. So we now know that we've got all of the factors of 24. And then we're interested in the prime factors, which means the factors that are prime numbers. And so that's going to be 2 and 3. So those are our two prime factors. And that's part A done. Now, for part B, we need to stop and think about what we're being asked to do here. Now, um, we want to express 24 as a product of its prime factors. Now, product means multiply, so we need to find a way of multiplying um, the prime factors of 24, which are 2 and 3, um, together to make 24. And the easiest way to do this, rather than just trying to sort of make it up in your head, is to draw something called a factor tree. So we write down 24, and then we draw two branches coming off it. And we think about a way to multiply to make 24. So we could pick, for example, 3 times 8. So those are two factors of 24. Um, and we're going to sort of break down um, each of those factors, and we're going to end up with just all of the prime factors. So, in fact, we've, we've got one already here. Um, 3 is a prime factor. And what we're going to do is we're going to circle it, and that's going to become a leaf. But then, because 8 isn't prime, we're going to draw two more branches off it, and we're going to uh, think about a way to multiply, so maybe 2 times 4. And then again, we're going to circle the prime factors, so 2 is prime, so we circle it. And then 4 can be written as 2 times 2, so we have two more branches, and then we can circle those two because they're prime. And so the leaves, if we multiply them together we will get 24, because the whole tree, um, if you work upwards, um, is all based on multiplying, because if you think about it, the 2 times 2 at the bottom here, that gives you 4, and then the 2 times 4 will give you the 8, and then the 3 times 8 gives you the 24. So, overall then, we can say that 24 is equal to 2 times 2 from here, times 2 from here, and then times 3 from here. And we're done. We've written 24 as a product of its prime factors.